Here's the DCC interface connected to Omega Points controller. If the left LED is flashing, it's in interface mode. And if the right LED is flashing, it's in gateway mode. When you connect this directly to Omega Points controller, the left LED needs to be flashing because it needs to be in interface mode. So if I enter the first address, 1000, accessory 1000 on, the first servo moves, accessory 1001 for the next, turn it on, and the second one moves. Accessory 1011 on, the last one will move. Or you can program macros, select accessory 1006, on and we're moving. If I run a macro I can move them all and I can run the opposite macro to move them all back. It's that simple. This is the test rig I use for testing all units before they get shipped. So here I have 12 servos connected to the right hand side of the board, 12 switches to the left hand side of the board. Because I've configured the Mega Points unit as a slave, it's taking all its instructions through the network. So these switches are now disabled. It's no longer reading those switches. You can, however, complete all the programming functions, including speed, direction, and endpoint selection. So if I go, let's take servo number 11. I can still set the endpoints. Let's give that a reduce movement and adjust it through the DCC handset. And we are moving them all, and you can see this time, this has moved less. Move it back, and it goes to the endpoints that were set on the programming unit. Or, we can reverse it. Reverse. Now you can see it's out of phase with all these other servos it's now going in the opposite direction there are two buttons top and bottom to change modes all you need to do is power the unit off and hold a button down whilst applying power if I hold the bottom button as soon as it starts to flash, it will flash out the DCC address and then the appropriate LED will begin to flash. Because I pressed the bottom button, it's now in gateway mode. Remove power, hold the top button down, apply power, and it's now in interface mode. And it will remain in interface mode until you change it. When the unit's turned on, it will flash out its DCC address. One flash on the yellow means the address base is 100, two flashes 200, three flashes 300, four flashes 400, five flashes 1000, six flashes 1100, seven flashes 1200, and eight flashes 1300. I'll now apply power. So we had five flashes there, which means that the DCC base address on this unit is currently set to 1000. To change it, hold the top button down for one and a half seconds, and the red light will stay on solidly. The DCC address was flashed out again on the yellow. Now press the lower button once to increment. Six flashes gives us a base address of 1100. and so on and so on and now it's set to a base address of 100 200 300 so you select the address that's right for you I'm going to work with a base address of 1000 5 and then you press and hold the top button for half a second and that's now stored so now the unit is working as normal, 
left LED is flashing which means it's in interface mode and it's ready to be connected to a Mega Points controller. I've plugged the cable in here from here and it goes directly into the Mega Points controller. Here the cable is connected directly from the DCC interface to the Mega Points controller. When using the cables this is supplied with, connect the white side onto the SDA connector and match it with the SDA connector on the Mega Points unit. When a Mega Points controller ships, it will be in master mode, which means that it's ready to accept input or commands from the buttons that you will wire to the left hand side. So you can wire up to 12 switches. To connect it to a DCC interface, you would turn it into slave mode. To do that, turn the power off, hold the low button down whilst applying power and you'll see the LEDs do a little flash and that's now ready to take instructions from the network interface. I'll connect the white side of the lead to the SDA connector which is the top and I'll match it to the SDA connector on the DCC interface. All I need to do now is apply power to the Mega Points controller and power to the track. As soon as track power is detected, the DCC interface will begin to flash and it's ready. So now with power applied, I can toggle an accessory address. Here I'm using address 1000 and the first servo is moving.